for a wrestler who's not a district champion. Wednesday night at the Region 7 tournament is an opportunity to win one match and get back on track for a state championship. For a wrestler who is, it's a chance to recharge your battery, enjoy a night off, and get ready for Friday's quarterfinals. Good. Psychologically, you get mentally prepared, and uh, for weight purposes, it's real good. You don't have to weigh in today and then Friday. Yeah, I'm here to support my team. I always support my team no matter what. And uh, to get that little workout in was good. And I love the atmosphere. I love coming here. It's awesome. I just like to get an extra workout in and uh, just roll around. Today wasn't really like a hard workout day. It was just kind of not doing nothing. I'm just here to watch and support my team. We have um, four guys wrestling. Should be a good match for all of them. They're all, they're all going to have tough matches here to support them and encourage. One of Phil Rogers' teammates who advanced was Devin Rowland, the District 26 runner-up at 220 pounds. A late takedown put him ahead of Cinnamonson's Joe Cody, 4-1. Uh, I always saw him leaning out, uh, forward, and uh, I could see that he was getting tired, so I just got a quick snap and spun behind for two. I, uh, he's really strong with his legs. His legs are so solid, and uh, he stood straight up, and I tried not giving uh, up two, just one. So I just let him up and kept working my uh, working on my feet. But just a moment later, Rowland had a scare. Uh, I don't know. I lifted his hips up. I didn't know that his legs kept coming up afterwards. And I let him down and he happened to be on his head. So I really didn't mean that. And Joey's a good kid. I would never want to do that to him. I think he understands it was an accident. Roland's 4-3 victory made him one of two Delran wrestlers to advance. Pemberton moved three wrestlers into the quarterfinals. Melvin Salas earned his ticket first with a pin of Willingburg's Jamar Sims at 132 pounds. Well, um, he was pretty strong. So I was just trying to create angles and just create an opening. It was a near side create, I believe. No, I just opened up, I seen it, and I just went for it. In the next battle on the same mat, the Hornets' Brandon Warner held Riley Honorado down in overtime to lock up a 4-3 thriller at 138. Um, as far as holding him down, he was really, you know, quick and long. So my goal was to get in on his ankles and try and prevent him from standing up and work up from there. So when he was able to stand up, um, I was able to use my levers to bring him back to the mat, work from there, you know, keep him down. Yeah, yeah it was pretty satisfying. Uh, as a senior, this was my first year making it to Regions, and um, I just definitely wanted to come, come in and give it all, leave it all on the mat, it being my final year and all. Northern Burlington's Andrew Smith spoiled Pemberton's bid for a third straight win when he pinned Russell Steele in the third period of their 145-pound bout. Um, I stayed aggressive, I kept moving. This kid's strong, but once I get past that second period, it's, it's all stamina. I got that near side cradle, then I walked up the leg, and then I finished it from there. This is my senior year, you gotta put everything behind you. The past is the past. And I'm gonna go out there, rest my best on Friday. It'll be double elimination when wrestling resumes on Friday, with the top three wrestlers in each weight class moving on to the state tournament in Atlantic City next weekend. From Robbinsville High School, this is John Lewis.